symptoms of COVID-19 typically include a dry cough, fever, and shortness of breath. But new evidence from many countries, including the UK, show that sudden loss of smell and taste is an early indication. The study from King's College London found 59% of people who say they tested positive for the virus reported a loss of smell or taste. Experts say losing those senses are also signs of other infections. Here to tell us more is Professor Carl Philpott from the University of East Anglia in England. Thank you so much for joining us this morning. That's okay. So far, there is currently no hard evidence that COVID-19 causes loss of smell or taste. Does this study give weight to emerging evidence of that? Yeah, I mean, a lot of the evidence that's being collected so far is, as you say, anecdotal. Um, but increasingly, we're seeing a lot of people reporting uh, smell loss, um, more so than we would expect uh, this time of year. Um, and as that sort of is happening in, in coincidence with the, the rising number of cases of COVID-19, uh, and particularly because it's been reported in healthcare workers who've been treated infected patients, I, I think we can be fairly certain that there is an association. It's just what we don't know at the moment is how many people, you know, what percentage are affected. You just mentioned the um, study f uh, from the COVID-19 app tracker from King's College in London, and um, within those tested, obviously, they found 56%. Uh, I've seen reports from one or two early um, bits of data that have varied from anything from 10 to 80%. <laughs> So there's quite a range of, of uh, reporting depending on how you look at it. And that's always the big problem is, you know, what's the denominator, what's the actual pool you're looking at. And, of course, one of the major limitations is who has been tested because if we don't know how many of these people that are reporting the thing have actually been tested, it's difficult to say who's definitely got smell loss related to COVID-19 uh, and who are those that may be getting it just as part of the kind of viral infections that are circulating at this time of year. And this study also points out that women are more likely to lose their senses. What do you make of that? Well, uh, I mean, doing a specialist smell and taste clinic, as I've done for the last decade, I would say that um, uh, it, for every clinic I do, there are always twice as many women as men turn up. Um, and I think there seems to be a sort of gender bias towards uh, women appreciating their sense of smell more than men. Uh, men seem to be less troubled if they lose it than, than women generally. So there may be a reporting bias rather than a, uh, a definite um, uh, distinction between men, women and men biologically. And you've also done previous research on the impact of smell on people's lives. How can this, the loss of smell impact people's day-to-day -day life? Uh, well, there's lots of, sort of subtle ways, really, that you don't really think about in ordinarily until it's gone. Um, I guess the, the obvious one is eating and drinking. I mean, you just something that you do all the time, you know, usually three times a day, uh, and then suddenly if you, you sort of knock out smell, um, actually what you're left with in terms of flavor perception is only basic taste, which is salt, sweet, sour, bitter, and the savory sensation we tend to call umami. Um, and that makes stuff pretty bland uh, when it comes to eating. If you put any kind of herbs and things on your food, you get nothing from that. Um, all the nuances of sort of uh, flavor are all lost. Um, and if you take it beyond that, I mean, you think about sort of things that you enjoy that are smell-related, so putting on perfumes, aftershaves, um, smelling the smell of freshly cut grass in the meadow on a spring day, um, all sorts of kind of subtleties that um, interweave and give an extra dimension to life that make it pleasurable that suddenly are gone. And then, of course, the flip side of that is the, the danger element, so the hazard warning, so the, um, you know, burning your toast, um, leaving your gas on in the kitchen, um, other sort of chemical hazards that you would normally pick up through smell before you actually became aware of them otherwise. Um, and parents who haven't realized that their babies have uh, filled their nappy, things like that. Um, uh, and I guess the other thing is about the attraction between partners. So smell loss is, is a key sort of element uh, subconsciously between attraction between partners. All right, all very good information. Professor Carl Philpott, thank you so much for joining us this morning.